Hello, I'm Sydney and welcome to my Flock and Squawk. This week I will be making and showing you the recipe that I use for snowball cookies. They're also known as Russian tea cakes and Mexican wedding cookies, but nobody quite knows for certain why they're called that. It's believed that potentially they came from shortbread recipes brought over from Europe into Mexico, and that's why there's that crossover link between Eastern European, Russian, and Mexico. But for me, I've always known them as snowballs, and we always make them at Christmas time. This recipe that I use comes from a 1986 copy of a Betty Crocker cookbook. It is the copy of, the, it is the same cookbook that I use over in my banana bread recipe. And I grew up using this cookbook for a variety of baked goods. So let's just get into it. I am going to be making a half batch of the recipe today. It makes about four dozen according to the recipe itself, but I have never found that quantity to be true. So let's get started. So for Russian tea cakes from this Betty Crocker cookbook, the recipe goes as follows. One cup margarine or butter, softened. A half a cup powdered sugar. One teaspoon vanilla. Two and a quarter cup all-purpose flour. Three-fourths cup finely chopped nuts. Half a, or a quarter teaspoon salt. And then you need extra powdered sugar. I've already gotten my oven preheated to 400. Like I said, I will be doing a half batch and I just read off the full recipe for you. So first up for my nuts, we use pecans in our house. So I am going to be toasting some of these pecans in a pan and then chopping them up and letting them cool. My oven is already preheating, so I don't even have to worry about that. So let's get these chopped up and toasted. Well, toasted then chopped up. Now that my nuts are toasted, I'm going to set them aside and let them cool while we mix up the rest of the dough. So first off into my mixing bowl, I'm going to add my butter, a splash of vanilla, and some of my powdered, or my powdered sugar, the listed quantity. Now that everything is in the mixer, I'm going to Put it on a low speed until everything is incorporated. Now that my butter, sugar, and vanilla is all combined, I am going to be adding in the salt and flour. So my mixture is coming together and now I'm going to chop the nuts. While I had that mixing, I got out a cookie sheet with a silicone pad. You do not need to use this. They come off quite easily, but there's that. And then I got out my cutting board to chop them. You can use a food processor if you prefer that. I just find it eat with making a half batch, batch especially, it's just easy to chop them up by hand. Now that my nuts are chopped, I'm going to add in what 
I knead into the dough and then I'm going to roll them into balls and put them on my cookie sheet for baking. You're going to want to bake them until they are set but not browning in any sort of way. That's about 10 or so minutes in the 400 degree oven. So I'm going to get that on the roll and then while they're baking I clean up and I'll show you how to finish them when they come out of the oven. So my oven timer is getting ready to beep, which means that we have to work a little bit fast. I cleaned up a little in the time that I had, but now I've got three minutes on the timer. So I'm going to prepare what we do next. It requires powdered sugar and the container you wish to store these in. I'm going to be sending these to my brother. So I have a tin that I'm reusing from a different type of cookie, but you could also use like a Christmas tin or a plate, bowl, dish. And I also have a bowl that I can use for the powdered sugar. So I'm just going to take my powdered sugar and put some in the bottom of this tin. And then I'm going to put some in this bowl. What's going to happen when these come out is that they're going to sit for a little bit. And then while they are still hot, I'm going to take them off of the cookie sheet, roll them, in this dish of powdered sugar. And then they are going to be nested in a little bit of a bed of powdered sugar in the tin that I'm going to store them in. So I'm going to bring in the camera and show you that process when they come out and getting them rolled in sugar and at the ready. And here you have it, the Betty Crocker Russian Tea Cake Cookie Recipe, also known as the Mexican Wedding Cookie and Snowballs. If you'd like to see more from me, please check out my Instagram and the rest of my channel. I will have linked my Betty Crocker banana bread recipe from the same cookbook that I did a video on quite a while ago. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you'd like to see more of. Would you like more baking? Would you like more sewing? Or would you like a mix. Also, would you like more 30 day uh, videos? Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and enjoy.